Hello students, today we are going to start the topic uh, vegetative propagation through leaves, uh, roots and bulbils. In the previous class we have discussed about the vegetative propagation through underground stem as well as subaerial stem. So, uh, so today we will discuss about roots, leaves and bulbils. Then uh, is the advantage and disadvantage of vegetative propagation. So let's start with the first topic that is root, roots. Roots are the mode of your vegetative propagation. Uh, for example, in case of Dalbergia and Muraya, where the uh, where buds are formed, in these cases, buds are formed and these buds uh, detach from the parental body. They detach from the parental body and form a new plant. While in case of sweet potato, the roots are adventitious. Adventitious. And these adventitious roots give rise to a new plant. So from uh, roots, there is two ways through which the formation of new or uh, development of new plant take place. That is through birds as in case of Dalbergia and Muraya. While in case of sweet potato, tapioca, uh, then asparagus, adventitious roots give rise to a new plant. Then next case uh, for the vegetative propagation is through leaves. For example, in case of bryophyllum and calendula, these two, bryophyllum and calendula, the, the, from the leaf margin of the uh, plant, from the leaf margin or the word we use for that is foliar buds. Foliar buds arises, foliar buds arise in case of bryophyllum and uh, calendula through the leaf margin. And from the leaf margin, these foliar birds develop into a plant leg and then detach from the parental body to form a new plant. Next is, uh, in case of begonia, begonia the uh, plantlets arise. In case of begonia, the plantlets arise on the surface of the leaf, not on the margins. So, uh, the, uh, these all are mode of vegetative propagation uh, through leaves. But uh, in Bryophyllum and Calendula, it is through the leaf margin. While in Begonia, it is on the, from the surface of the leaf. These leaves, uh, these birds or the plantlets, they detach from the parental body and to develop into a new plant. Next is uh, Bulbils. In case of Globa bulbifera, the um, uh, lower part of the inflorescence, lower part of the inflorescence becomes multicellular. In case of Globa bulbifera, lower part of the inflorescence becomes multicellular and these multicellular structures are termed as bulbous. These bulbils, when they um, mature, they detach from the parental body and develop into a new plant. Next is the advantage and disadvantage of because everything, every uh, method or mode is having some advantages as well as disadvantages. So, what the first we'll discuss about the advantages of vegetative propagation. Advantages of vegetative propagation first is. It is a rapid, easier and less ex expensive mode of reproduction. Rapid, easier uh, because uh, since it uh, it is it uh, develops from the part of the plant. So, uh, the whole process of uh, formation of fusion, fertilization, then gamete on that um, development of seed. All these processes uh, are not required here. Just from a part of the plant, a new plant that arises. So, it is rapid easier and less expensive next is least attention and shortest time duration least attention because since these are the exact carbon copies or uh, of their parental type or the they are genetically identical to the parent so they are well adapted to that particular situation and uh, the time period the as i have already discussed said that the formation of seed and all the processes are not taking place. So, uh, this is where it, uh, it is in shortest time. It takes place in shortest time period. Next, for especially for the uh, these, uh, when this method is useful, especially for the plants in which uh, the, um, uh, the seed viability, 
वर्ड इज सीड वाइब्रेटिंग एंड प्रोलॉन्ग प्रोलॉन्ग डॉर्मेंसी दीज मेथड्स आर सुटेबल फॉर द प्लांट्स इन विच लेस सीड वाइब्रिटी इज एयर वेद सीड के नॉट बी स्टोर फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड सेकेंड थिंग इज वेद द डॉर्मेंसी पीरियड वेद द सीड्स रिमेन डॉर्मेंट फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड so if the these two conditions are there in any plant then vegetative mode of propagation is best for these plants next we will discuss about plants in which the formation of which have lost the formation of seed which have lost the capacity to form the seeds like example uh, is um, examples are banana grapes and rose in these three plants they have lost the Um, capacity to form seed. Since they are not forming seed, so the um, mode of reproduction is vegetative. Next is mango, lychee, and citrus. Some citrus plants. In case of mango, lychee, and citrus plants, they are heterozygous for their plant type. Now, what is heterozygous? Heterozygous means they are not true breeding. They are not have tr having the true tr tr breeding characters. they are not true for their characters like uh, um, in this for tall we were, we have used uh, the genotype capital t um, capital t while in this condition it may be uh, capital t and small t so this type if they are not uh, true for their characters they are heterozygous so when they are developed from the um, from the seed they may Retain the recessive character. They may show the recessive character, and if we want that, it, they may sustain the parental type or parental characteristic. Then we have to develop them from the vegetative propagation mode by using that mode only. It it would be best suitable as to retain the parental characteristic. Otherwise, the recessive characters may be shown in the next generation. then is the fifth advantage is the vegetative propagation can be used to produce high yielding varieties high yielding varieties means um, uh, in the less area we can um, increase the productivity of the plants so that high yielding varieties can be formed these are the advantages of vegetative propagation then the disadvantage disadvantage of vegetative propagation is disadvantage Disadvantage. The first disadvantage is they are exact copies of their parents. So somewhere it is helpful, but sometimes they may retain the diseased characteristic. They may retain the unused, that non-useful characteristic, the characteristic which is which are not desirable. So they being exact copies of the parental type is a disadvantage. Uh, in these uh, conditions number 2 is oh, it may lead to overcrowding overcrowding and um, if there is overcrowding then there may be a um, uh, 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 there may be a fight for existence there may be fight for food share um, food and space so this overcrowding as i have explained in briefs that bryophyllum in case of leaf, uh, leaf pro propagation bryophyllum and calendula these foliar buds fall on the ground and uh, form a new plant so when they are falling on the ground and forming a new plant that and they are in the same area where the parental plant was so that it uh, formation of new plant in the same area or so many plants in that area may lead to overcrowding and struggle for existence for the new plantlets so this is all about roots leaves and bulbs then uh, vegetative propagation modes and advantages and disadvantages of vegetative propagation in the next term we'll discuss about sexual reproduction thank you for today